So taking notes, whether it's in a class as illustrated here on the screen with American history, or whether it is in a meeting, taking notes and creating actionable items can mean the difference between success and failure. And so let's just look at this example real quick on a very quick and easy way to take notes. Now I happen to be taking notes in Evernote and there are many, many, many ways to do this. This is just one. Or this could simply be a pad of paper. So let's just assume with the yellow marks it's a yellow pad of paper and you're taking notes in your class. In your class, of course, translate this to your meetings or whatever you need to be successful. So here we have our notes, and it happen, we happen to be talking about American history, George Washington. We talk about the cherry tree, the Delaware, the winter in Delaware, and Ephrata, the cloisters. And I hope I spelled cloisters right. And these are some things interesting about George Washington that was part of the lecture. We may add more details and information, but for now we're just going to put some highlights. These are key terms that we could use Google at a later date to find additional information or notes within our book to find additional information. What we don't want to do is sit in class the entire time writing down every word because as we write down every word we're not listening to what is being communicated to us by the instructor. So we want to be careful. Here are some things that also that I do in taking notes that may be helpful. First of all, as you're taking notes, maybe they mention a test. So we have a test coming up on crossing the Delaware over chapters 1 and 3 out of the history book. That test is on 918. Notice here that I've made an indent. Put the date and what the action item is here to the far left column with the date of 918 so that we can easily transfer this onto our calendar, which we're going to do in just a moment. Here it was announced during this day on 9 5 uh, 2014 that I have a paper that's going to be due on Ephrata, Pennsylvania, uh, where the cloisters are, and I need to read chapter four and do some research on that as well. So I highlight over here in the column paper 926. And then I have an open task, an open task here due on the 10th of September. Read chapter one. Now, why have I separated test, paper, and open task? And they are all very similar. Well, the reason why is because a test and paper may be scheduled and an open task may be done in a task management program. So let's look at both of them. And you can use them as to whichever makes you comfortable, whatever you're comfortable with. Heck, just putting them in the indent here may be your comfort level, and you review these pages of your notes every day. So let's just use the calendar here. We can use this on our smartphone. My desktop may look a little different than your smartphone or your tablet, but all of them, a calendar is a calendar, folks. So here we have due on 9-18. We're just going to go ahead and put in here uh, American history, and we're going to abbreviate, um, and we're going to put test. Now, why are we going to do that? Because we're going to have all of our notes. We're going to know that our American history notes, and we can go back and refer to that. Also here on the 26th, we have a paper due. So again, we're going to put American history, and we're going to put paper. So we know these are highlights, things that we can do quickly and easily as we're looking at our calendar. And then our open task, we can actually put on the 10th here. We can put American history, and um, we can just put read, you know, chapter 1, for example. And I'm going to show you how to do this in task management as well on another video but let's just assume we're just using calendaring for this now I need to set out what I, how I'm gonna get this studied right I need to read here chapters 1 through 3 so let's just say that here on American history we're already done with chapter 1 here let's say American history um, we're gonna put in here and we're gonna read uh, chapter 2 right so we're gonna have chapter 2 done Remember, that's not an open task, but we know that we need to do it to prepare for our American history test, which happens to be on 1, 2, and 3. And let's say here on Monday, we're going to make sure that American history, that we read chapter 3. Now, we've got all three tests, and then maybe here, we're going to say American history, and we're going to review our notes. All right, so as we're reading, we're taking notes, and we're going to review our notes, and then, of course, we have our test for American history on the 18th. And we do the same thing with our paper, right? We're going to schedule out where we're going to start collecting notes. So we're going to maybe have here 
American history, and um, we're just going to say paper, uh, initial re you know research, right? And then uh, maybe on the 19th, we're going to have American history, uh, paper, and we're going to have uh, draft due. So these are due dates, right? And then this is um, final, review final, American history, final paper, review. All right, so then you're going to review your final paper then. And then you'll be in time. Or maybe you say, well, I want to move it over to 25th grade. And then now you're in line for that. So this strategy here allows you to take your notes and then enter them. But you've got to keep on top of what happens when you've entered your notes. How do you know that you've entered them? So now you go back to your note page itself, maybe get a different colored pen. All right, let's just use a red pen here, for example. And we're just going to quickly do a, a cross line through these things, indicating that we've already scheduled these on our calendar. So that's one way to take notes here and transfer those notes into action and put that action on a calendar. View other videos that talk about making that action and putting it into task management. Again, this is all done through technology and leveraging technology to your benefit.